Nicky Lowe, what a night. I can see the beaming smile on your face. How, how much does that mean to you? It means a lot. Obviously, when the gaffer fought me a few weeks ago, uh, he made no qualms about we want to stay in this league, and that was the target. And I've came and I played a lot of games, more than I thought. Uh, I've settled in well, and I, I think I've played my part, so I'm delighted, you know. Yeah, like you say, you come in weeks ago, and you've, you've helped, you have played a massive part in keeping this club up. Yeah, and that's a good feeling, because obviously I was sitting my backside for a few months there, with low league suspended. Obviously, I kept myself ticking over, and thankfully I did, because if I came up here unfit, Dick would have put me in the stands. <laughs> but no, thankfully I done well in training, and Gaffer gave me a chance, and I've took it, and I'm just glad to help this club stay in the championship. Now, I spoke to you during the week, and you spoke about some of the low moments of your career, with injuries that you'd gone through, and how your career at one stage you were thinking your career was going to be over you know but this must make it all worthwhile the fact that you've kept going that's it you know obviously there's a lot of dark moments uh, in the room with lights off and stuff and your wife cuddling me saying listen you may be able to play again but at the time I thought that was me I remember it was the end of my Queen's time I was injured and I wasn't playing I was just travelling to training every day and I was so low not wanting to go in but I, had, I was getting paid to do it and I thought oh Jesus I don't know what's next but I'm just absolutely delighted I chose to go part time for a year we still and it worked well then obviously since then I've stayed fit so touch wood and that's me and I'm obviously I'm really enjoying my football here What's next for you? Because the bro fans at home are going to be watching and seeing the impact that you've made and saying can we have him back next season? Yeah, I'm not sure. I've had a few phone calls eh, from managers eh, asking what I'm doing next year because I've done well here. But the gaffer said we'd, we'll have a wee chat next week. We just wanted to concentrate on this game eh, tonight. It was massive. It's not about me, you know. It's about the club. So now we've stayed up, I'll have a chat with the gaffer and see where it takes us, you know. But I really enjoy it. I think everyone at the club eh, is welcoming me in arms and I enjoy it, you know. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's a, a great achievement for the club, you know. So to be around a place that staying in the championship for the third consecutive season as a part-time club. Yeah, it's massive. You honestly see some of the teams that's in the championship. <laughs> He's getting a little bit of stick here from the manager. But <laughs> no, obviously it's a big achievement. You see the massive clubs in this championship and it's all, they're all full-time. But I think now you see it, see with part-time players, players look after themselves away from the park a lot more, so there's not much difference. Obviously, they've got bigger budgets, bigger squads, so they can rest. They can rest more. So, no, it has a massive achievement, and the gaffer deserves all the praise and all the players in there because they've came together and done the job. You know, it's just a shame the fans weren't here to see it. I'd like that because they're out there going mad. Yeah, you can hear. You, did the players hear the fireworks as you came off the pitch? There? Yeah, we're standing at the tap of the stairs looking out, and the windies were open. <laughs> they were going everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I mean, how does that feel? You know, you're you're making making a town happy. It feels brilliant, you know. It feels just obviously I've not seen the fans been in here yet, but see just on Facebook and Twitter and stuff and messages I've had, I feel so it looks like a community, everybody together. So I'm just glad everybody's gonna be happy tonight and hopefully everybody has a wee beer over the weekend. Yeah, and you spoke about the manager. I mean he's he's just said to us that it's, it's up there with with the best of what he's achieved in his managerial career. I mean, how how much of a, a legendary manager is Dick Campbell? <laughs> I think any name just speaks for itself when you say it in Scotland, everybody knows him, you know, but I think, what is it, so many promotions, I think it's the most, but as he said to us in there, he thinks that's his biggest achievement, and it just shows you, it's just, this championship's a good standard, and people's got big budgets, all full time, and people will be saying, a oh, little bro, full fancy beating them, and you know what, I've seen in the papers and stuff, since I've came here, people don't really give our bro credit, uh, to be honest, and that's my opinion, uh, and I think we deserve a bit more. Uh, Gaffer des deserves more respect, you know. But listen, we're going there and we fight every game. Since I've been here, we've gave everybody a game. Yeah, and you did say to me during the week you've got a few pals in, in Greenock as well. Not, a, I mean, they're in the playoffs now. I mean, your pals will be quite nervous right now. Yeah, obviously speaking to them, you know, uh, they were nervous before the game, and rightly so because I think we were nervous. I think everybody was nervous. It's one of the, it's a massive game, massive night. But listen, I just think Morton's a decent team. You watch them; they're hard to break down. They work hard, but they, they miss a goal scorer. Uh, but listen, I honestly wish them all the best in the playoffs, and hopefully they stay up because <laughs> I'm a green up boy and I go to the games when I can. You know, so it's a weird feeling there. But listen, I get paid by a bros just now, and I had a job to do, and I done it.